Father, again, for this place and for uh, just the uh, ability to come together, Lord, which is uh, from you. The desire to come together is from you, Lord, and uh, we're two or more are gathered in your name. You're there in the midst. And we welcome you, Lord. We um, just present ourselves, Lord, as living sacrifices, and uh, we just really want to honor you tonight in everything that we do. And um, just pray that you would just minister to hearts here tonight, Lord, and you would be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'd like to just uh, introduce uh, these guys. They're coming back again to bless us in song. They are a great blessing last time. If you were, you were here, if not, you're going to be really blessed. So uh, I ask you to welcome Crimson. Good evening. It's so good to be here again. We all had a, a tough day or a tough week. It's time to unwind a little bit, just have some fun in the Lord. You know, he doesn't desire us to be burdened, but He desires us to lay it all down, have a spirit of ease, you know, so He'll breathe on us. Just have fun tonight. We look forward to having fun with you. And this song, first song is called Trading My Sorrows. It's about trading everything you have, because they don't belong to us. It was, it was already dealt with 2,000 years ago. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, 
yes, Lord. Worship the Lord, and, and we hope that uh, our enthusiasm and uh, our love for God that uh, uh, is evident and, and uh, wears off on y'all. <laughs> Come and, and into the presence of God with us as we worship our King, our Lord. Jesus. 
start to believe it You know This is something worth waiting for So Give it a chance, will you take it To go
this next song that we're gonna sing is called Work In Me. And uh, it's great to know that we're not finalized the way we are right now. It's, it's great to know that for all the room that there is in us to grow, that we're gonna make considerable progress and that the Lord is gonna do that in us. This song is just a prayer for that. Um, it says, Jesus, basically have your way. Spirit, have your way. Master, have your way in us. And that's what the song is about. It's about us submitting our own will and giving up our lives and letting the Lord do with it what he wants to do with it. Kind of reminds me of another band I've heard that called Malinmo. And their name's just an acronym. It's, it just means my life is not my own. So it's called Work In Me. Jesus, thank you for your grace.
searching to find an answer. Say what you know, right? Maybe we find a way somehow. Oh, yeah.
to know him. Um, if you don't, he's given us an awesome resource, an awesome tool to get to know him, besides other people that do know him. It's called the Bible, and this next song that we're going to sing is Bible, Basic Instructions Before Leaving Earth. And if you spend some time in your Bible, truly you will get to know him. It's something that you really ought to do. <laughs> And while Damon's <laughs> getting his acoustic guitar ready, uh, you really ought to know him. And if you read your Bible, you'll get to know him. Glory to God. Damon says, where are we from? We're from Quakertown. We're from Ambler. We are from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All of us, or most of us, um, we met at Temple University several years ago. And some of us, um, we just met from local churches over this past summer based out of Faith Covenant Church in Quakertown. We were put together to do an outreach, and we've stuck together since that time. We've been traveling. Um, it's such a joy to come out here. This is our second time being here. It's such a joy to travel and just to spread the gospel through music. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope that we can uh, that you can hear the Lord through this music that we're that we're singing tonight. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. God, thank you for the patience and the nylon strings. <laughs> Basic instructions before leaving her.
instructions before dinner. All basic instructions. Basic instructions before dinner. Make sure the only other truth in the world. Basic instructions before dinner. Two more times, a little shot and laugh. A little bit each time. Basic instructions before dinner. All right, let us up, reach to heaven. Basic instructions before. Praise God. You really ought to know him. And if you read your Bible, you will get to know him very well. And if you turn to a specific spot in the Bible, John chapter 15, verse 5, you will read that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. If you know anything about uh, the subject, science. Uh, the branches can't live without the vine. The branches can't live separate from the vine. You have to be connected to the vine. And we are the branches, and Jesus is the vine. And so only through the vine, and through the nourishment from the vine, can we live. This song that we're going to sing now is called, Only You Alone. And the words say that, Only You Alone will bring me life. Jesus, your life is abundant to me.
We want to see Jesus lifted high. I know, at least I'm concerned, I don't want to see myself lifted high because I am a filthy rag at points. Most points, right, Brandon? <laughs> well, you know, Damon. We've all fallen short of the mark, and, and that's why the Lord came and sent His Son to die, yeah. His own Son, because He knew we missed the mark. We were way off the mark, way off the board. But now we have, the Bible says, now we have the right to come into His throne room and call Him friends. You know, and he will, he takes glory in us. And that's hard for me to understand. It really is hard for my human understanding to understand how a God can take glory in anything a man can do. So we just want to see him lifted high so he can be high and glorified.
I want to know a man who did that to me. <clears throat> Even though I can say that I know Jesus and I've been saved, sometimes I wonder, sometimes the way my heart feels, the Bible says your heart is, is wicked. But I want to know the love of a father that loves me unconditionally and that gave his son to die. I want to be in the light as he is in the light. I want to shine like the stars. They're in the heavens. He died and he paid the dead. Let's just rejoice that he is the king. Oh, Lord, be my light and be my salvation. 
says that all things thank you thank you so much in the back all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord who are the called according to his purpose so if you are one of those people that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose it just doesn't matter any opposition that comes up against you because no weapon that's formed against you is going to prosper any, right. anyway so we sang before that when the spirit of the Lord comes upon me we're going to dance like David danced right. and this song says that we're going to overcome and this is how we overcome so at the middle of the song we're going to go to a bridge and however that you overcome in your time of trouble maybe you sing a worship song to the Lord that's how you overcome maybe you praise the Lord maybe you get down on your knees and you and you pray to the Lord and that's how you overcome maybe you just have so much word in you that you just stand on the word and that's how you overcome and maybe if you're submitted you're the type of person that lets Christ do all the overcoming in you but however you do that this song says this is how we overcome so whatever method that you use just think about that as we sing this is how we overcome 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 Thank you. 
good to see all of you here. Yeah, praise God. All right. Well, you have to have You know what? Give a hand to Joey and his dad. Yeah. Joey! We appreciate you, Joey. Thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for hanging in there with us. We're getting ready to do our second set now. Thanks for your patience. Show me how I can serve you today, Lord my God, in the evening, let my soul rise up to you, I know that you are holy, I know that I'm unclean, and I'm afraid to come into your presence. To call upon your name before the way down here. So I say, lift me up from my lonely state where I can see his love in majesty and light. Lift me up from my lonely state where I can see his love in majesty and light. Pretty cool, um, pretty cool title, We Will Embrace Your Mood. And I was thinking today, I was having a conversation in the car on the way up from Philadelphia with my cousin, and we were talking about uh, how some churches are a certain way, other churches are another way. And I thought about how some, some churches 
They say they want so much from God. They want so much revival. And that's what they say with their mouth. But then they don't want to change. This song says that we will embrace your move. And it's talking about the move of God and the move of the Holy Spirit. And if we say that we're going to embrace the Lord's move, if we're going to embrace His move, then we've got to go when He says to go. When He starts moving, we've got to be there. Jesus told a parable about the... Uh, uh, actually, it wasn't a parable. He was speaking to one of the disciples. He was going to call out someone to be a disciple. And this man said, well, wait, why don't I go back to my home and settle that business there? And he wasn't ready to go with the move of the Lord. He wasn't ready to go with Jesus. And Jesus kept on going. I want to go where the Lord is at. I want to be exactly where he wants me to be. This song says that we will embrace the move. It doesn't say that we're going to resist the move. So I just take those words to heart and think about that. And, and let's worship with us. And, uh... The word says, you know, that there is a move of God. And as Chris said, that you're either going to embrace it or ignore it. It doesn't change the fact that it's still going on, you know. It's, God wants to move amongst the nation. He wants to prepare the bride for Jesus, to prepare the church. And he's going to come back for it. And he will come back. And ignoring it will not slow it down. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. It could be a hundred years. It could be a thousand years. But he's preparing a bride to call his own. I have no idea. So if the Lord moves on your heart. Just act on it. It's probably him. We'll dance 
preparing a feast. The spirit and the blood they say come, and they're calling out to the least. That's me.
Mr. Weston, he would open my eyes sometimes to everything that's going on. I wish that, that I would let myself be open to see what's going on and not just walk in the way that I think I want to go because Father knows best. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to, uh, to be here together and, and to worship together and, and offer up our praise and adoration for the Lord our God. I thank each one of you for uh, joining in with us and uh, sharing in this time of worship. Mm had a good uh, a chance to talk to a few of you as we walked around and uh, it, it really is a blessing to to meet other believers and to to hear words of encouragement in the Lord and we just thank you thank you father we thank you for that and we bless you and praise you have any of you ever listened to a song and kind of took out the words to see what it meant I don't know. <laughs> I've done that plenty of times, and this actually is one of the songs that I have done that, and I couldn't just read it once and figure it all out, and, and that be it. It was kind of funny because I read it over and came to my own conclusion after like an hour, and you know, I asked a couple other people what they thought that the song meant, and they gave me their important input, and we finally came to the conclusion that I don't know if any of you have ever heard of um, Jennifer Knapp. You probably did. She's pretty popular. But um, this is a song called Martyrs and Thieves, and it was a very confusing song for me. Maybe not for you, as the Lord, but for me it was. And um, we came to the conclusion that sometimes when you're doing things, whether it be little or small, you kind of get caught up in doing those things, and you're like, hey, I feel pretty good. And even though we're not worthy of, of any kind of positive things that happen to us, every good thing comes from the Lord. And in this song, she's saying that how she was, she's a singer, so a lot of attention was coming on to her. You know, and instead of giving it to God, she was kind of consuming it, and it was affecting her walk and her ministry. And after she came to that realization, she decided to die to herself and give God all the glory. So she was a thief because she was stealing the glory from the Lord. And she had to learn to be a martyr and die for herself so God can have all the glory. So I just pray that this song will minister to you. Let's proudly speak 
go to, whether it be Baptist or Pentecostal or Evangelical Christian churches. Uh, this song is so powerful, it's called Shout to the Lord. And you can look through the book of Psalms and, and you can find the words of the song. It's just an awesome and powerful worship song. It says, Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Let us sing power and majesty. Praise to the King. What an awesome praise that is. Power and majesty. We're going to ascribe that to our King. Power and Majesty, praise to the King. 
Mountains bow down and seas will roar at the sound of his name. Truly the Lord is awesome. And he is sovereign. And he's beautiful and glorious. And he's worthy of our praise. Let's just all worship him together.
the song is so easy and we sang it already once tonight so this time I want you all to try to sing with me it says Jesus your love is so Jesus your love is abundant to me I want to sing praises all day unto thee and the next part of that is Jesus your love is abundant to me I want to sing praises all day unto thee it's exactly the same so let's try it again Jesus your love is abundant to me I want to sing praises all day unto thee. Jesus, your life is abundant. Jesus, your life is abundant to me. Jesus, your life is abundant to me. I want to sing praises all day unto thee. Jesus, your life is abundant to me. I want to sing praises all day unto thee.
Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I like the sing-along effect. That's good, Chris. Uh, this one is easy. The words are lie, 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 lie. The first graders love it. And uh, seriously, um, we did it earlier, but it is a, it's a song that, that really moves your feet. Uh, in essence, Bible is the basic instructions. And it's all in there. If you have a trouble that you don't know the answer to, it's in the Bible. It is in the Bible. Medical condition, problem about finance, anything that's troubling you. Romance, any other word ending in ants, Pirates of Penzance. It's in the Bible. That's not the Bible. I should get lightning come down. It's in there. And the Lord wants you to know His solution. You know, and uh, but praise God, He does love us. He loves us even more than we love ourselves. And that's, if you believe that, you know, so I guess some of us, some people have egos, but that's not love. Because Jesus Christ was love. He had no ego. He came to serve, to be the servant of all, not to be the best of all. So praise the Lord as, as we do the basic instructions. And you feel free to dance. Anyone want to come up and cut a rug up here? It needs to be cut. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe you would. <laughs> We're so unprofessional. <laughs> Basic instructions. What do you mean it doesn't need to be cut? Okay. It needs to be cut. Right uh oh. Before leaving her. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 